Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Grim, the Lord of Assault. Today, we are going to be doing a quick review of WWE 2K24. I did pre-order this game, the uh, WrestleMania 40 Years Edition. So, I, I've been playing it for about a week now. Uh, a little more than most. And so, I figured I'd give it a quick go-over. Now, generally, this game is a much bigger improvement from the last one, I think. Uh, they've added a lot of features that are new, uh, there's new content for double titles, the new effects with the blood is much nicer, a lot of characters have gotten new models, so the roster looks a lot better, the gen roster in general is a lot better, um, which is subjective, but again, it's it's focused on the, the 40 years of WrestleMania mode, so you do get a lot of legends here, some of which probably never should have been removed in the first place, looking at you, Rick Rude, um, we did miss out roster-wise on a few people for some obvious reasons. Uh, Adam Copeland Edge left and works for AEW now, so he obviously wasn't going to be there. Uh, Bill Goldberg, his contract's up, so he was removed. Vince McMahon was removed because of the uh, charges against him, and Brock Lesnar was also made unplayable for the same reason. Although, recently, uh, Brock Lesnar was added back to the WWE's roster on their website, so there is a chance he'll get patched back in in the future. If not... Uh, there's already a downloadable version of them on uh, the the game, where, of course, our good buddy, um, uh, What's the Status, has already made a modded version of them, basically, for everyone, so he still has the right, the right theme song and commentary and all that. So I'm sure we'll see more Brock Lesnar's to come out like that, probably the others as well. Um, so yeah, other than that, it's kept everybody in. Uh, Sam Martino's still in, which is nice to see. It's, uh, especially since they brought in superstar Billy Graham. So you get, we got a little, a little more of that old school wrestling in there. And, and uh, Harley Race is still there, which is great. Um, every, everyone else is still there. So Piper's still there. Uh, Warrior, Ultimate Warrior's still there. I was a little worried about him because apparently the contract with his wife has, ex had expired. So either they renewed it or, uh, this game fell into that contract. So we've still got the Warrior. So it, I don't know if he'll still be there or not next year. We'll see, but this year still has them. Um, and otherwise, uh, like I said, the roster looks good. All the new guys are good. Um, the DLC has been all announced. It all looks good. The first one coming is, of course, the the Extreme Pack, which uh, comes with CM Punk as well as um, the ECW characters. I'm I'm looking forward to them as well. Uh, originally, we we just had RVD, and that was pretty much it. But now we'll have Sandman. We'll have the Dudleys. Uh, apparently, a younger version of. Um, Paul Heyman. Also, I did want to comment as well, the roster has been improved a lot in ways people have mentioned. A lot of managers have been brought back, finally. Miss Elizabeth is back. Paul Bearer is back. You know, uh, I don't think Bobby Heenan ever left, but these these are our uh, managers were removed a long time ago. Now they finally, for some reason, I don't know why they were removed in the first place. You know, uh, Paul Bearer in particular, and Miss Elizabeth. If you got Randy Savage, you got to have Miss Elizabeth. For years, we haven't. Which is a shame. So, but they're all back now. Um, also, wrestlers who uh, are featured as managers in a match will keep their entrance attire on, which is pretty cool. So, like if you have Ted DiBiase as a manager, he'll keep the suit on. You know, he won't be standing there in his ring attire. You won't have to create an alternate, you know, uh, version of him. Also, some of the wrestlers that were like exclusives before have been made and opened up. Like um, Three Faces of Foley are now playable. They were in the previous game. But they were locked to the, uh, the my faction mode. And there's nothing anymore locked to that mode, apparently. Uh, which, the, they have something called Personas, which is what you unlock in that mode. It's basically a costume that's playable in other modes. Um, right now, there's only a few of them, which seems to be the side effect of this. Uh, previously, my faction had a ton of, quite a few exclusive costumes and entrances and attires like the dx versions classic dx versions of Shawn michaels and triple h and uh and a whole bunch of other stuff like old man like an old version of bret hart and and uh things like that but we're uh not gonna be probably seeing any of that i think we'll see probably a few new personas come out but i'm not expecting a whole lot right now it's like the elite or action figure versions of guys like Cody rhodes and john cena which you can actually get for free um well, you have to pay for Cody Rhodes, I think. But uh, there's a Hulk Hogan one in there. There's a couple outfits. None of them seem that interesting to me. The, the only one I wanted was the action figure John Cena. 
Uh, if you do the tutorial, you'll get the Roman, is it Roman? Yeah, Roman Reigns one from, like, his S.H.I.E.L.D. days. There's a Seth Rollins from the S.H.I.E.L.D. days. Um, so there's that to unlock for fans. Other than that, there was nothing in there that really tickled my fancy, personally. Um, so content-wise, it's looking good. Uh, feature-wise, we did get a lot of matches brought back in. A return casket match is finally back. We got the ambulance match. Of course, uh, multiple versions of the gauntlet match, all of which has been great. Um... And the uh, War Games is still around, so that uh, will be around hopefully forever. Hopefully we don't see them removing any more features. They did also bring back the ability to control your partner, your AI partner in tag team matches. I don't think they've done it for managers, though. If there is, I haven't found it. Uh, they brought back the ability for some characters that are wearing tank tops to, you know, pull the sleeves down so they can wrestle shirtless. Uh, oh, it's, it's, it's strange because it's a thing that was removed for some reason, and I don't know why. Uh, I guess it seems to be centered primarily around Kurt Angle, so if Angle's in the game, you usually get it. But last time they brought Angle back, they didn't bring that feature back. And I don't know why it was ever removed, because other wrestlers do it as well. Big E and The Undertaker and so on. So, um, yeah, for it to be removed, is just it's just weird. But that's back, um, and hopefully... Um, Everything else is pretty much up to snuff. Creation mode-wise, we didn't get really anything new here. Um, same old, same old. They did bring sliders back. I don't remember the last game having sliders. Maybe it's because I'm on PC now. But I definitely know playing it on PlayStation 4. I did not have sliders for my created wrestlers, which sucked. But the sliders are in this time. I am playing on PC now. I'm looking forward to all the mods that are going to come out for this, hopefully. Because uh, there was a lot of great ones that came out for 2K23. So, In fact, I've discovered that it's better when you're uh, adding wrestlers to the game to use mods rather than uh, create a wrestler. The reason being because even if create a wrestler has everything featured, or even if they have the entrances and the moves, um, and you can simulate the attire perfectly because of the, the picture feature. But you, you'll never have the theme song or the, the movie, you know, or the commentary, obviously, to go with it. So, uh, but that's what mods do. They step up and they add the official themes, the official titantrons, and... Uh, and the moves, and they're also a lot better for arenas as well. You know, the creator arena feature is nice. It's better than than nothing. Better than it's been before in the games. But, um, like, you can't do the classic uh, stack of TV style Titantron, you know, where there's a bunch of TV monitors and they were showing one image. Uh, yeah, you, you couldn't do that. You can't do that with create an arena. So, you know, people take screenshots, which is, is nice. You know, it looks accurate. But it's obviously, it's just a, a JPEG, you know, stuck on a wall. So, when you get mods, though, they can actually, they work that into the game. So, it's a working Titantron. So, that's much nicer. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be, I'm looking forward to all these mods hopefully coming out uh, in the next few months. I'm kind of going to sit back on the game until these things are in. I'll tinker with it here and there. I was going to make a project out of it. But the more I thought about it, the more it seemed like that project probably wasn't going to be worth the time. Back to the game anyways. Um... The one downside, there's a couple downsides, there's a lot of content, even with the accelerator to unlock things, um, you do have to play the modes to unlock the rest, so to unlock, uh, like you get the roster with the accelerator, but you don't get the arenas, so if you want a classic Wrestlemania arena, you have to play through the uh, showcase mode, which normally I like showcase mode, but the showcase mode here is absolute garbage, it really is one of the worst showcase modes I've ever seen. I thought last year, last year was okay, but I was let down by the Rey Mysterio one. That was the first time they tried this new format. And this is just, it's a terrible format. Uh, it's its full of actual footage, which half of which is censored for, for dumb fuckery reasons. Uh, you can't stream it or upload it in any, any sort of content on YouTube because it will instantly get blocked forever. Um, completely fucking useless. And it's just not a fun mode to play. You're, you're playing these filler segments between when the actual stuff happens. So instead of reenacting the key moments, you know, the key spots, you just, you know, grapple them and throw them into the turnbuckle eight times in a row or some bullshit. And and there's some of them really are bullshit. So uh, I stopped playing because um, even though I scored the win, like I, I succeeded at the objective, but the game didn't register it. So it just kept going. And it was the kind of thing that would have taken me another 20 minutes to build up. So I said, fuck it. Uh, I got my way most of the way through it. I was in on uh, some of the newer stuff then. Uh, half of that mode is newer WrestleManias uh, using the current roster and such. And I just don't care about unlocking those arenas. But at least I got the classic ones, which is something. Um, and it generally, it's, it's just not nearly as good as the 30 years of WrestleMania showcase was. You know, that one gave us some matches from every WrestleMania, at least a couple sometimes three, 
Uh, this one gives us a few scattered matches here and there, and they're not even really some of the top matches. Like, I, I wish we had gotten the, the Brett and Sean uh, Iron Man match. I wish we got Undertaker and Kane, so we could have gotten those versions of those characters. I wish we had gotten... Um, uh, there's, there's just a bunch of them, you know, and... To be sorted out the way it was, it's just, it's not nearly as, as interesting. So, you know, that, that came out the way it did, and, and it is what it is. Uh, the My Rise mode I haven't tried. I, I've never played My Rise mode. I've never been a fan. Um, but the, as usual, there's content you have to unlock through that. So maybe I'll play it, maybe I won't. The, the stuff that's locked in there mostly isn't that interesting. Um, you know, it is what it is. Nothing else that's unlocked seems to be all that special gameplay wise it's it's mostly more of the same they've added some new stuff uh but nothing terribly deep um some of the stuff's been added back and uh and yeah and that's about it for this game overall i think it's a good game i think it's worth buying if you're especially if you're a wrestling fan uh, you might wait for a sale would be my suggestion because it's it's very expensive and i definitely don't recommend uh paying that kind of price unless you're really into it especially if you had the last game the last game will probably hold you for quite a while. Um, uh, but it is better, I believe. So, uh, yeah, so that wraps it up for that, folks. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll catch you next time. We'll be uploading hopefully plenty of content this week. Hopefully have some good live streams for you guys. Until then, this is Grim the Lord of Salt saying, stay salty.